What's going on guys? This is Matt Horner from Sports Mockery bringing you another video here to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the latest news involving the Chicago Bears including Allen Robinson's franchise tag. Yeah we know. We knew it was coming one way or another. The Bears tag Allen Robinson and of course Kyle Long's return to the NFL. So we're going to go over these things today. Only going to be a couple minutes but we'll talk a little bit about them and go through them. Uh, first of all, I do want to talk to you all about DraftKings. DraftKings is offering the best deals, the best profit boosts, everything possible you could want in the betting space. Go to DraftKings.com. DraftKings Sportsbook offers great value, the best numbers, the best lines. They got a ton of different deals that go on all the time. Profit boosts every single day, pretty much, especially college basketball right now with all the tourneys that are going to be going on uh, coming up here in the near future. Uh, check them out because uh, if you want to get into sports betting, it's a really popular commodity right now. A lot of people out there talking about their different picks, stuff like that. It's a really good way to win money. A lot of good profit boosts and stuff like that going on at DraftKings. So go check them out. A uh, really cool website, um, DraftKings.com. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about Allen Robinson's franchise tag. Again, if you haven't heard yet, Allen Robinson, wide receiver of the Chicago Bears, has been franchise tagged. Uh, by the Bears organization. Over the past year or so, Robinson and the Bears have been trying to get a deal done uh, before he hits free agency and try to avoid the franchise tag, which will pay him in excess of about $18 million uh, this coming year. Uh, obviously, the Bears don't want to have a cap hit that large in a single year of $18 million, uh, but the Bears did what they had to do. They couldn't reach an agreement with Robinson. Robinson couldn't reach an agreement with the Bears, and thus, he is franchise tagged. A lot of people thought the Bears might let him go. Um, I never personally thought that would happen. He's too much of a playmaker, and the general manager and the head coach, they need playmakers right now to kind of save their job. Uh, so to me, it really wasn't an option. They absolutely had to get uh, Robinson under that franchise tag. Now, $18 million is a lot per year. Like, it is, it is a lot of money per year. Um, but at the same time, he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL and they still have time. He, he's not going to hit free agency now, so they still have time to work out a long-term contract. Uh, they can work out a long-term contract, free up some money. They're going to restructure some contracts. They got to do something at the quarterback position or else Robinson's not really going to matter because, you know, you, you bring back Mitch Trubisky, Nick Foles, any of that. Guess what? You're still not going to win very many games. It doesn't matter. You need a quarterback. So look for the Bears to be aggressive at the quarterback market, or typically they'll be the Chicago Bears uh, and just, you know, deal with some mediocre quarterback like they've done for the past 100 years. So Kyle Long, the former Bears offensive lineman, has decided to come back into the NFL after retiring for about a year. Uh, and he's, he's returning to the NFL uh, he made his decision basically on Twitter. His brother actually announced it, Chris Long, uh, on Twitter, uh, that he will be coming back. Uh, he probably won't be playing for the Bears. Uh, actually, a user uh, asked him, uh, well, a user put a tweet uh, out uh, that Kyle Long had said, uh, a quote, that basically said uh, he's going to be a bear for life, the way this organization's treated me and stuff like that. I'll have the tweet up here in the video. Uh, and then he basically, he basically said, uh, the Bears killed that guy, <laughs> and he's not going to be coming back to the Bears. That, that's basically the gist of it. So I'd put it at about 0% Kyle Long plays for the Chicago Bears next season. Look at the Raiders. Uh, the Raiders are a team his father played for. They just released Trent Brown. Uh, look for the Raiders to be real players in the Kyle Long market. Uh, he's back, apparently healthy from injuries and stuff like that, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Kyle Long uh, head on over to Vegas uh, and play for the uh, John Gruden and the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, some big news coming in, in football. Uh, we'll have more videos here on the channel soon. All things sports betting, all things Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks, White Sox, Cubs, tons of different stuff. And again, check out DraftKings Sportsbook. I'll have the link in the description box below. Follow me on Twitter at MattyBets with two underscores. And I will see you all next time here on the channel. This is Matt Horner from Sports Mockery. Have a great day, guys.